everybody, it's Missy from Shimmers again, and today I wanted to try a technique that I do quite a bit with the new Acritones paints. These are acrylic paints and they're self-priming, so you do not need to use any gesso or anything like that on your background. So what I'm going to do today is the packaging technique. I know this is a very popular way to get watercolor onto your background. I do this a lot and I know a lot of other scrapbookers and crafters do. So I thought I would try it for the first time today using the Acritones. So I just squirted a little bit of the paint on the plastic, added a little bit of water, mixed it together, and I'm going to flip that plastic over and smush it down. You may also call this the smushing technique. It's not technical. It's just plastic packaging and color. So this pink is the Pinkadelic and it is so pretty. Love how it looks and I love how the packaging gives you this very abstract splotchy look. It's totally different than if you were to use a brush and it just depends on you know what look you want and what you're going for. So I'm going to layer some of the orange on top of that and this is called Orange You Glad and as you can see these are very bright and bold colors so I'm going to add a little bit of the white that's called Three Sheets to the Wind just to soften up that orange a little bit. And to do this technique, you don't need a whole lot of water, but you do need some to kind of uh, make the paint a little bit thinner and make it a little bit watery. And you can see the result there when you turn it over and smush it down. And since I layered the orange on top of the pink, you can see a little bit of color variation there where the two colors meet. The yellow is called Over Easy. Very bright and beautiful. These colors remind me of summer and I am ready for summer already. So I love how this is looking. I think this is a very easy technique and pretty quick way to get colors on a background. So I'm going to experiment and do a little bit of mixing on the plastic with the pink and the orange. Add a little bit more water and you're going to get a little bit of a different shade there when you mix the colors. They mix very easily. And something that I did discover, since these are acrylic paints and they're pretty thick, when I added the water to them, the paint didn't all dissolve into the water. And so when I flipped the packaging over, some of the actual paint in its thick form kind of created these texture ridges and I'll show you these up close what I'm talking about so it didn't all completely dissolve to look like watercolor so I've got lots of bumpy texture of actual bits of the paint and I love how this is looking I love the different shades I love mixing and matching you can also add a little bit more water and flick your brush and get some splatters going so this is also very doable with these acrylic paints so there you can kind of see where I'm pointing and I'll have some close-ups here, but you can see where the paint kind of stayed together and it didn't completely flatten out and I wasn't expecting that and it looks really cool because it's going to give you a little bit of texture and just give it some interest and make it look different. I love how that's looking. So just to make sure I like this, I'm going to add a sample picture over it if I was going to use this as a background. I want to make sure it's completely dry so I take my heat gun to it and there's my background. I love how that looks. I think the colors are beautiful and you can see there where I'm pointing where the paint kind of stayed really thick and chunky. And I think that's really cool. If you like texture then you definitely want to give this a try because it turned out really pretty and you could do this with any of the colors and it's just experiment. There you can see the texture really really well. It looks almost like texture paste, but it's just the acrylic paints. So I hope you give this a try when you want to make a background next time because it worked out really well and I think it looks very, very pretty. So thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you have any questions. I hope you have a great day.